Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be going over a beginner guide for Path of Champions. I know there's been a lot of new players coming to the game and coming to my channel and they keep asking things like how do we get relics, what's the best way to farm up champions, best way to get champion fragments. So we're going to be covering all of that in today's video. Now if you enjoy all this Path of Champions content I put out, definitely like and subscribe and let's get into it. Now up first we're going to talk about leveling champions. As you can see here I have every champion of the game fully leveled other than Aurelian Soul down here but he's not currently available. That's going to be on November 1st. So other than him I have every champion maxed out level 30 three stars and so I'll give you the secret to how to level up your champions as fast as possible. Now the amazing secret is there is no secret you you just have to grind. Everyone's always trying to find the best possible way to level up your champions, but really it's just grinding out the toughest adventure possible, or at least the toughest adventure you can consistently clear. Now what I do, I normally wait till I have a champion at two stars, then I will throw them into the Nautilus right here. I'll play this once or twice. And then based on how the champion's feeling to me, I'll then pick a higher level adventure. So if they're feeling still pretty weak, but I want to do something higher than the two stars, I might go for someone like Victor, where it's two and a half stars, you're going to get a bit more XP, but it's still a fairly easy adventure. Or if they're feeling kind of like average power to me, then I'll normally try to throw them into one of the three star adventures. So over here we have Thresh. This is normally my go to three-star adventure, or we have Daughter of the Void over here, another three-star adventure. Now, once the champion is feeling very strong, and again, I can't give you specifics for levels because it's different for every champion, and it's also different for everyone's skill level. Some people are going to be very good at specific champions and maybe a little bit worse on others. But once you're feeling very confident in your champion, then either go over here to the Colossus, Galio, 3.5 stars, or if you're very confident in your abilities, go and do Aurelian soul. Now for me to level up champions, in most situations, once they're at level 20, I'll be grinding out Aurelian soul and then I'll just be grinding that up until they're at 30. But there's been times where I've started grinding this more at like level 12 or 13 for some champions. Again though, there's no necessarily hidden best way to level up your champions. Really just be grinding the highest adventure you can clear on that champion. Now I will say there are occasionally times where you can somewhat cheese it where sometimes during the weekly adventure there might be a very strong power. Like last week, there was a modifier that just made it so you start at 10 mana. So that obviously is going to be very strong for some champions. Like for leveling up Volibear, you could just play him at the start of the game and essentially win. So you can check the weeklies to see if there's maybe a special modifier like that that you could try to grind XP a little bit faster. But that is fairly rare in general. Just grind the toughest adventure you can. And that's the best way to level up in this game. All right, with that out of the way, let's now touch on what you want to be doing every day and every week to consistently get rewards. Now, first up, there's going to be some repeatable quests that you're going to want to be doing. So here there's the victory quest. This is daily, so it resets every single day. Win battles in Path of Champions. Now, it doesn't matter what battles you win. You just have to win battles. So if you want to go and take a very overpowered champ and then throw them into a low-level adventure just to quickly get this out of the way, that's fine. But you want to be doing this every day if possible. That's going to give you four of these wild fragments that you can spend on any champion to unlock them or start them up. And it's also going to give you this legend XP. Now down here, this is a weekly adventure. This resets on Wednesdays. So the first part of this for a silver vault, which gives you some champion shards, you just have to win adventures in Path of Champions. So up here, this one's win battles. So those battles within adventures, but down here, you actually have to complete the entire adventure. Again, there's no requirement for how difficult this adventure has to be. So again, if you want to take a very overpowered champion and just have them blast through one of these short, easy adventures, adventures, that is totally fine. Once you complete this, you get a second weekly. You see how this is one of two. That second weekly will give you a bronze reliquary and 5,000 legend XP. So it's really important for that legend XP, but this time it requires you to win three adventures. Again, though, you can just clear the easiest adventure with a very strong champion to get this out of the way very quickly. Last up then for what you want to be doing every week is these weekly adventures right here. So these reset on Monday, these quests over here reset on Wednesday, but there's always three different weeklies, but they always give you the same rewards. Now, unfortunately, I did already clear these all out, so you can't see the uh, rewards, but what each of them are going to give you is a thousand legend XP each, and then the lowest one is going to give you a bronze relic 
query. So having a common relic in there, the middle one is going to have a silver vault. So giving you some champion fragments. And then the last one will have a silver reliquary, which should have a rare relic for you. Now, this is what you want to be doing every single week and the one quest every single day to just continually work on maxing out your account, getting more relics and fragments. This is really important to consistently do. And once you've cleared all the other content in the game, this is going to be the only repeatable way to get these rewards. Now, if you are just starting out on the game, as you see here, I logged into a low level account that I had. So if you're just starting out, then you do have some additional options for you. Now under quests, you're now going to see these chapter quests. These are going to be the main thing you want to focus on completing. And this is going to be an amazing way to get some relics, get some legend XP and to get some champion fragments. So as you see here, reach legend level five and equip a relic to a champion here win any adventure with a Ionian champion. So there's going to be a good amount of these chapters. I believe there's six. And so this is what you want to be focusing on. And this will really help boost up your account quite quickly. Now note that some of the things we mentioned, like the weekly challenges right here, these will be locked until you get higher legend level. So here you see reach legend level six to unlock, reach level 10, and then reach level 15. So you want to be leveling up your legend level as quickly as possible. And the ways you can do that, completing these chapter quests, and then again, always completing your daily and weekly repeatable missions, as that's a great way to get additional legend XP. Now, if we take a look at the legend level, there is a lot of useful upgrades in here, and this will just make more content available for you. We'll give you some additional rewards to help level up your account, and then we'll just give you upgrades to also help your adventures be a little bit easier. So the legend XP is very important and something you should be trying to upgrade. Now, one additional system that you want to be trying to do to upgrade your account as quickly as possible is going to all the different adventures and trying to complete them with the required champion. So if we go and take a look at Ionia over here. Here's an adventure that I don't quite have. Complete all requirements in 1.5 star world adventures to unlock. So just as you complete lower level adventures, you're going to unlock higher level adventures. That's one reason to do it, but also the different adventures have rewards based on if you complete them with the right champion. So here, since this is just a one star, the requirement is just complete with a champion from any region. So it doesn't really matter. And then you'll be able to get this bronze vault and legend XP. Now here, there's only one requirement and you're only going to get this one reward once. For later regions though, as you see right here, there's now three completions. So you'll be able to get three rewards by completing this. So you have two with any region. So you have to complete this with two different champions, just any region. And then it has a requirement here for Demacia. So this is another great way that you can get some legend points very quickly, as well as some more vaults and reliquaries. These aren't farmable though, because as you see, it's a limited number of rewards. So this region is just three. If we take a look at some of the tougher regions like Aurelian Soul over here, it has five different rewards that it's able to get you. So when you're first starting out, there's a lot of different ways you can quickly boost up your account. Yes, you should always be doing your daily quest, weekly quest, and then the weekly adventures once you have them. But in addition to that, you want to be going through and completing all of these chapter quests. And then also you want to be going through clearing out and unlocking all these different adventures because they will give you some good rewards. Now, outside of what we've talked about, unfortunately, there's no real way that you can grind out like champion fragments or relics. A lot of that content is time gated. Now, when you are first starting out, you can grind through all of these chapter quests, grind through all these adventures, and you can very quickly level up your account. And you will actually have an easier time than some of us more veteran players because some of the reliquaries and vaults that you're getting, specifically the gold vaults and higher are all supposed to be duplicate protection. So that will really help you max out your account, which sadly wasn't a thing when a lot of us older players first started playing. Now, while you are upgrading your account and you're unlocking all of these champions, you generally don't want to be three starring almost anyone. What you generally want to be doing is just unlocking and upgrading to two stars, a solid champion for each region. That way you can go through and complete all the adventures and get their rewards since they specify a lot of them having to complete it with a champion from a specific region. So just look through the champions, try to find one you like, probably go look at some YouTube videos on them. I have guides and gameplay for every single champion, but there's other YouTubers as well. Just try to make sure the one that you think you'd have a fun time playing and then try to unlock and upgrade that champion. As you can see here in the bottom right, you can see what region every champion is from. So first thing you want to do for champions, get one solid one from every region. You generally don't want to three star any champions just to avoid duplication. 
you can still get fragments for a champion you already have. Those extra fragments are just going to be converted into a different currency, and they're not really going to help you level up your account. So to avoid the possibility of getting duplicates, you normally want to just stick your champions around two stars in the vast majority of situations. Only really three star if you already have the fragments for it, or if you really like the champion. In general, every champion can complete all the content in the game with just their two stars, and so fully upgrading them to three stars is normally considered a waste while you still have a lower level account. Now, one last important thing to note, there are some champions that you can get guaranteed relics on. So when the game first came out, there was about 12 champions. All of those champions had personalized two-star campaigns that if you completed them, you would get a guaranteed relic. So Jinx, she was one of the first champions. If we take a look here, you can see Jinx has her own campaign. You get a half star, which I already completed, but then the two stars you see right here. So reach two stars with Jinx and beat their first adventure to unlock. Once you have that done though, unfortunately it's not loading in, but as you can see, Stalker's Blade, that is a very powerful relic. So by completing this, you'll get that Stalker's Blade, you'll get fragments, and you'll also get 3000 legend points, which is pretty amazing. And then also just champion XP. Now, not every champion has these, only the original champions that the game actually launched with. So let's go take a look at those champions right now. All right, so up first here, we have Annie and Bard. If you complete Annie's two-star adventure, you get the Green Glade Shade Leaf. So support, grant my supported ally elusive. This is a very powerful relic, works out decently with Annie, as you can play your round one, and then every time you attack, she can just keep giving allies elusive throughout the entire game. It is still a fairly niche relic, but I think it's stronger than most people give it credit for. Also, it's an amazing option for Alawi. Next up then, we have Bard. If you complete his two-star, you get the Hymn of Valor. So when I'm summoned, create a redoubled Valor in hand, it costs Three. Now that redoubled valor is a slow spell that doubles a unit's stats. It normally costs six, and so this brings it down to a three cost and is overall a pretty fun relic. Next up then we have Darius. Now Darius, you get the Crown Guard Inheritance when I level up Rally. This is a very powerful effect and is best in slot for many champions, so it's really great to pick it up. For Garen, you get the Loose Cannons Payload. When I'm summoned, discard your hand, then create that many Pow Pows in hand. Now this is amazing for Jinx, as this will let you immediately level her up and is one of the best relics for her. Doesn't really work on anyone else, at least not that well, but amazing for Jinx, which you are going to have. Next up then we have Alawi, and she gets the Grave Digger Spade, so round start, draw one, and give it fleeting. Now fleeting means if you don't play, it's going to get discarded at the end of the round. Not that good of a relic, but it is very good for Neela, who is a champion that just recently came out. Next up then for Jin, round start, refill your spell mana, that's from Archangel Staff, very good relic to have, and is useful on many champions, and is very good for Annie. Next up then, like we touched on before, Jinx, you get that Stalker's Blade. When I'm summoned, I strike the weakest enemy. Very good relic, and the best relic for a good amount of champions. Next up then, Lee Sin, the Scourge's Stash. Plunder, I cost two less. So again, a pretty nice option. Not that many champions utilize this, but it is still a good relic for those couple of champions. Next up then, we have Lux, Ludin's Tempest. All of your spells and skills deal one extra damage. Again, a very solid relic and very good on Annie. Next up then, we have Misfortune, Tempest blade when I level up stun all enemies. Very very good relic for both Evelyn and Yasuo. Last up then we have Vi with the Grand General's Counterplan. Round start create a fleeting copy of me in hand. Very good relic for a lot of champions again including Annie. And the final champion Yasuo, Riptide Battery, Plunder, play Cannon Barrage a number of times equal to my cost. Now that Cannon Barrage deals two to an enemy unit or one to the enemy nexus. Pretty niche relic in most situations but can be very good for Jinx or Jin. Now that is it for the original champions, but this is a guaranteed way to get many very good relics. And while you're completing your chapter quests, quite often they will give you some fragments for these champions. All right, that's it for our beginner guide. I hope it helped you out. If it did, you can like and subscribe. Also, if you want to join our Discord, we have a new player section on our Discord. So if you have any questions, you can go there and we'll be happy to help you. There's a link to that down below in the description. All right, I hope you all have a great day.